Hey, John and Mike, Brew-Dudes.com, and tonight we have a special uh, thing. Mike's saying, just go with it. Just go with I it. I hate when he says that, because it always ends up weird. Well, it's the first video of 2015. Well, yeah, we did the recap. So I figured we need to start are. with something special tonight, something new <laughs> and special, something special. Okay. But we shouldn't use these. All right, what should we use? As I dive off frame for a minute. Yeah. We'll use these. Okay. Are you becoming the wine dudes? Winedudes.com. Yeah, okay. Alright. Here you go. Sir. Enjoy. Hmm. Hmm. There's a hint of grape soda off of this, like. Oh yeah? That's bad news. Right off the bat. Now that I've chilled it, I did. I've tasted this before. I see. There's something I made, and it's a little bit. It's interestingly different. The this flavor has definitely changed. This is this is my first mead. Hey, how about that? Mead, you. So yeah. Nice. But it's not a strong mead by any stretch of imagination. <coughs> it's only. Um, this That's was a, a, good thing. a two gallon batch. Oh, uh, good. Six pounds of orange blossom honey. Okay. A little yeast nutrient, a little yep. lavel, <coughs> lavelin 41B, 47B, is that what it, I can't remember. I should have brought my notes. D47. D47, that's same, what it is. same thing. So anyway, that's the first mead. When I tasted it uh, <coughs> like a month ago, I'm going to die, um, there was definitely more of a little orange hint to it. <coughs> what do you think? What's your comment as the, as the mead maker um, of the group? Yeah, I, yeah. Don't, you're not gonna hurt my feelings. There's only two gallons. I'll just pour the rest of it out. <laughs> uh, I think it's a. It's not. There's some there's some interesting flavors coming off of that. I don't know if that's uh, yeast derived or not. Yeah, it may have sat a little bit longer than I wanted to <coughs> on the yeast. I've been hitting this uh, table, so that's all right. Yeah, we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's it's drinkable and. But there is like a grape, there was a, Schweppes made like a, a grape soda. Do you remember that? It was kind yeah, of yeah, like yeah. a grape ginger like ale. white grape yeah, ginger ale, yeah. something <laughs> like that. And that's what I'm getting off on the nose. Just for the viewers at home, it's not carbonated. It just no, it's not. That, it has it's, that, that taste. Just, yeah, it's not. It's, it's not the bubbles. It's definitely the, the aroma on it, which, I you know, isn't, isn't uh, unpleasant. It just smells artificial, which... Is kind of weird because there's nothing artificial in this. Hmm. Well, I fermented it. Um, you fairly, you fairly cool. On that? Um, it was fairly low. It was like ten seventy, <coughs> ten eighty. More like ten sixty. Maybe it'd been like sixty five ish. Yeah. Okay. We'll have to. Someone's gonna correct us. I already two uh, six pounds and two gallons of yeah. Of they'll water, figure it out. Know, Two gallons total volume. I mean, I was careful about because of you know make sure that that volume was accounted for. So it was a yeah. final volume of two two gallons. So. Okay. But um, it fermented nice, great. I mean, what was I, the finishing gravity? Uh, <coughs> this is down like ten o o two or something like that. It's fairly dry. It's fairly dry. Yeah. No, I think that's a weird mouthfeel. Different. You think? No, it's warming up. I don't, I, and I've had several sips of it. I don't mind it so much. It has a nice white, like um, not an oaked white wine, mm -hmm. but um, I wouldn't say as delicate as a, a Pinot Grigio. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, it's got some substance to it. And, and but you could drink this like a table wine. Yeah, you know. I, mean, I think that was my good. intention. I just wanted to throw something together one night. And I bought the six pounds of honey when I <coughs> um, bought some other stuff. Yeah. And I just went for it, uh, just to see, just to give the ferment, the me fermentation thing a try. You can see as it warms up that that weird artificial. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a little bit of warmth. Scent goes away. Uh, when it, tasting it through the night, when I racked it yeah. into the bottling bucket, <coughs> you know that process. Yeah. It tasted a little better than that. Now it's starting to open up a little bit. See, I think the other thing about these things, they need a decant. Totally. Yeah, you feel like like it yes. need to breathe a little I bit. I think the, the raspberry. Sure. Yes. Well, I think uh, alcoholic beverages of this nature. Intensity. I think order, yeah. you let them. You let the air. I don't know if it's oxygen. I mean, it's 
yeah. oxidation of some sort, mm -hmm. but it's it's just the amount of time contact with the air, it changes. I mean, yeah. we can get into a whole wine discussion, which happened to me on the other blog. <laughs> on the other, <laughs> on the other blog. Not at the blog, but, <coughs> it, you know, hanging out with the in-laws and, oh, yeah, and yeah. tasting some of those things is a totally different sitch. I mean, this this is this this uh, video post is going to be totally off the beaten path. People are going to be like, if you didn't like us before, you're going to hate us now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, that sort of thing. That's right. I was here for some beer talk. You guys aren't talking beer. 2015, I'm coming over with some beer. I got a kid at home. Yeah. I'm trying to learn how to brew beer. Yeah, everyone's gone. No one's just, this yeah, is it. All I just killed it. You just killed it. I just killed it. With mediocre mead. And that's what, that's what I'm going to call I, would, I would not mead. say mediocre. I would say that it, it needed more, I think, coming out of a bottle like that and pouring it in, we needed more time to. I yeah, know that true. you were you were going with the element of surprise <laughs> and, yes. and all that, but yes. I think that it suffered because of it. <laughs> I sprung it on you too. You yeah, know, you did. So. You did. But I think this is no. I, th I think this is fine. I wouldn't say this is horrible at all. Well, I've got several. Um, you know, the two gallon batch. I've got yeah. plenty of these. I, I'm definitely going to send it off and see what, what. Um, absolutely. Some of the people say just because uh, you know, what the heck? I mean. Yeah, I would say absolutely, and I would say that it just, it, unfortunately, unlike white wine, which I think you can just pour out and people, you know, start drinking yeah, yeah. like no yeah. other people we know, they drink like crazy. But, a couple ice cubes. Yes, it's a little it's, orange crush. Yeah, it's a it, me. It's like a derby. Party. You're off to the races. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think for for us, I'd, I'd say like let it let it decant for a little bit, it's in the glass, and then start tasting it. Uh, you know, by the third sip or you know whatever number of sips it is, it's a totally different beverage. It's definitely it gotten good. better. Yeah, um, maybe the palate adjusted yeah. to it too. So um, it was an interesting experiment. I, I I thought about actually taking some of it and putting in like a half gallon carboy with like just a couple just the 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 rind of the orange just mm. to try to reinforce the orange blossom honey whatever just yeah. just to compare but mm. it sat in the jug for so long the carboy for so long i just had to get it bottled up now so. this is great this is a great first try for sure and i'd love to hear what other people think of it especially yeah, yeah. like experienced mead tasters sure. not like myself um well you're the experience yeah well between us sure you're the pro. Hmm. But, uh, yeah, man. Oh, it was fun to do. Fun to open the repertoire. Try something new. I think that's what, you know, 2015, <laughs> open it up, just say, hey, you know, Sweet. it's uh, time to try new things. Don't be afraid to... Uh, yes, go for it. ...techniques or or <clears throat> ingredients that you haven't used before. Exactly. In your brewing or even in your mead making. Right so. on. All right. So we go. Surprise, 2015. <laughs> Mike's first mead. Mead on, baby. Mead on. Cheers.